because you are dwelling in heavenly places where Satan is not permitted to prevail, I declare your victory in the name of Jesus. It is done. What is in this blood? Just listen to this. This is not an ordinary table. It's a table designed for the actualization of God's total head package for your life, among other things. What is in this table? And I'll show you just that in a few minutes and we're ready to go. The life of God is transmitted via this mystery. Leviticus chapter 17 and verse 11. The life of the flesh is in the blood. Whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood has eternal life. He taps into my very life and I will raise him up in the last days. John chapter 6 verse 48 to 58. So there is a life exchange on this table today. Whatever is contrary to eternal life, and eternal life is sickness free, it must be flushed out of your body today. <laughs> Divine nature is accessible now. And one of the avenues through which God makes available accessible is the communion table. We become partakers of his divine nature and we escape the corruption that is in this world. So we are partaking of his divine nature. And like you, whatever the report had been, HIV AIDS, you are partaking of his nature, which is immune to HIV AIDS. And as you partake of it, AIDS returns back to the sender. Because divine nature is immune to cancer, as you partake of this, every lump in your breast, every form of cancer, cancer of the service, cancer of the intestine, cancer of anywhere, as you partake of this, I'd like you to come with that conviction. I am partaking of divine nature so I can be free from the corruption that is in this world. As you partake of it, everything wrong with your blood, wrong with your water, wrong with your organs, any aspect of your system, we take a divine nature turn in the name of Jesus Christ. What is on this table? There was poison in the pot, we were told, in 2 Kings chapter 4 and verse 38 to 41. And Jesus said, I mean, the word of God said, bring me a meal. Elisha said, and they brought him a meal, I think a piece of bread, and they cast it into the pot and it neutralized all the poison. Second Kings chapter 4, verse 38 to 41. What we are partaking of is a miracle meal. Every poison in your body, as this meal gets in there, is neutralized forever. What are you partaking of here? Some are not sick, but they are still not well. They are too weak to matter in their pursuit. Weakness is their own problem. They are just weak. In the morning, they are weak. In the afternoon, they are weak. They wake up in the morning and see they have not slept. There is no refreshing. What's on this table? Divine strength. What do I call it? Divine strength. In First Kings chapter 19, Verse 6 to 8. An angel of the Lord touched Elijah and I said, Arise and eat. And he ate. Then he came to me a second time. I said, Eat, for the journey is long for you. And he ate. And the Bible said, He went in the strength of that bread for 40 days. How many days? First Kings chapter 19, verse 6 to 8. He went in the strength of that bread 40 days. After this communion today, every form of weakness in your system is caused in the name of Jesus. <laughs> what again is on this table? Mental rejuvenation. What do I call it? Some are just mentally slow. They are intellectually weak. But when Jesus gave them the bread, 
the Bible said their eyes were open. Luke 24 and verse 30. Their eyes were opened and they knew him. Their eyes were opened and they knew him. In this fast track world, if you are not mentally sound and mentally proactive, you stand to become a victim. But he gave them the bread and their eyes were opened. So every form of mental retardation, mental blockade, and slowness, as you partake of this table, every form of loss of memory, some are only 30, they, they behave like 90. What you told them last week, he has forgotten. How will you remember the one for last year? How do you remember the one for 30 years ago? He can't remember. Every form of slowness, every form of retardation, everything that makes you weaker than the natural man, as you partake of this, I see them cost forever in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Finally, what is on this table? Say with me, the miracle Lord. <laughs> Exodus chapter 7 and verse 10 to 12. Aaron put down his rod, he became a serpent. And Pharaoh said, ah, that's a very simple thing. Our magicians here can do it. And the magicians also did it. And their own rod also became serpents. And what happened? The rod of Aaron swallowed up all the magician's rod. So in the first round of the conflict, they lost their weapon. First round. So everything moving in your body, as you take this brain, it becomes a serpent on your inside. And it will swallow up every other magician's serpent in the name of Jesus. That is what God is up to, among other things in this service. So get ready. It is your turn to enjoy total health. <laughs> How many have gotten hold of strength today? Amen. Strength. Strength. When we had our first son, the doctor said, Hey, your son had jaundice. I said, Our son does not have jaundice. They said, your son has, I said, I'm saying he cannot have done this. There are two different things. He has, he does not have, he cannot have. They are all different things. He said, look at it. I said, it's not necessary. John this went back to wherever it came from. There was no stress, there was no strain. Because there was enough waiting for the battle. When your system is loaded, that's it. One day I slept on my bed to wake up in the morning was war. My wife would be the best one to describe that situation. Many years ago, I think it was 83. The whole world was turning. My life was pining away with my eyes open and my body could not move. And then suddenly the word of God came into my spirit being. I bumped up and Satan gave way. There is something about God. If you align with what he has commanded, you'll be perfectly in command. Please understand that with fear, you can't go far. And you don't overcome fear by just making noise. It is the things on the inside that will guarantee your stability in the war front. It is inner strength that will guarantee your authority in the battlefield. It is not the loudness of your noise. It is the veracity of your authority by virtue of the things that you are loaded with. And then that can give way to you. After we got married, I went on a journey and came back and my wife said she had miscarriage. And I said, it cannot happen. Can I have my food, please? It ended there. You have to leave battle ready. It might be too late to get ready. So wake up. You want to be free indeed? Refuse to be empty. It is dangerous to be spiritually empty. For when an evil spirit is gone out of a man, he goes about in dry places seeking rest. And when he finds noise, he said, let me check back to where I came from. And when he came back, he found it swept, garnished, but empty. Then he went and took seven more wicked spirits than himself. And they came in there. And the later end of that man was was at the beginning. Chapter 12 of Matthew, verse 41 to 43. Refuse to be empty. Be spiritually current. 
update your spiritual tank. Don't watch your system dry up. There's a way you look that witches will look at you and say, hey, sh no go area. Even the birds that fly in the night, we have enough sense not to fly across your house in case you wake up. I am persuaded that both you and your household, sickness has become finally history. They will not find you again on the hospital line. Your case is settled today as you take responsibility. Can I hear your loudest amen? Help me tell your neighbor, refuse to be empty. It is dangerous to be empty. You cannot resist the devil as long as you are empty. Nature abhors vacuum. Wherever there is vacuum, a place is created for the devil. Refuse to be empty. Refuse to be empty. That is what you need to do to keep yourself together. The Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. He says, submit yourself to God. Take his instructions and resist the devil and he will flee from you. And when you are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, you are in command. I don't know what that disease is and what that sickness is. Today marks the end of it finally. <laughs> Lift up your two hands and celebrate the integrity of your God, the integrity of his word, the reality of your total head package in Christ. Take authority right now over every affliction in your life. Begin to take violent authority over every form of affliction in your life. Take violent authority over every form of sickness and disease. In Jesus' precious name. God's word has gone forth. Divine nature guarantees dominion over the corruption that is in this world. Therefore, every corruption of sickness and disease, I decree their terminal end now in your bodies. The dispute over your body is ended today. The dispute over the bodies of your children, they are ended today. Every strange movement in your system is over this hour. Every poison in your body, every disorder of the chemistry of your system is neutralized today in the name of Jesus. Every weakness is turned to strength today in the name of Jesus. Every terminal disease is finally terminated this hour in the name of Jesus. The great physician is here. The master is here. The master is here. He's master of the universe. He does whatever he pleases. Therefore, whatever is contrary to you, I decree a reversal in your favor in the name of Jesus. Whatever stood your way of having your own children, it is destroyed today in the name of Jesus. Every form of spell on anyone's life is averted today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Everyone in this service that is not born again, this is your chance. If you are not saved, you are not safe. Salvation. Is the security of your destiny. Whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Now pray this prayer of faith after me. Lord Jesus, I accept you today 
as my Lord and my Savior. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me on the third day you rose again that I might be justified. Right now, I believe I am forgiven, I'm justified, I am saved, I'm born again, I'm a child of God. I am free from the power of sin to serve the living God. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now you are blessed of the Lord who has made the heavens and the earth. I cover you today by the blood of Jesus. The arrows of the wicked shall no longer be able to strike at you. Your destiny is preserved by the blood of the Lamb. You will run this race successfully to the end. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name.